Hello, my name is Thomas Marinen, and this is my earthquake visualization. Um, here I've just got three windows with um, the map and the earthquakes being shown. Um, there is some mouse interaction that allows you to move the map. Um, with the right click, the left click, and the mouse wheel, you can either rotate the map or grab it and pan it and, or uh, zoom in and out on the map. Um, and here on the left and the bottom there are some GUI widgets which allow you again to kind of interact with the data and filter it one way or another. Um, this is the map transparency. Um, when you scale it up to about a hundred it gives you it fully opaque and down to zero is fully transparent. Um, so here we're just going to manipulate these three maps um, and show some areas of interest. Uh, two of them are here um, at Chile and uh, the other is on the western coast of the Pacific Ocean. Um, mainly around Japan, the Philippines, and uh, Indonesia. And then we're going to take a look at some of these widgets here. Um, so starting off with the magnitude, we're just going to filter out um, some of the magnitudes and only view the ones in the range of 3.5 to 6.5. Um, and you can see all the other um, earthquakes being filtered out, so the ones with really low magnitudes or really high magnitudes are not being shown. Uh, so let's just bring those back now. And uh, that's affected in all three windows as you can see. Um, so then I'm going to modify this view here on the main window, give you a side view so you can see the depth. Um, each earthquake is represented by a line and it starts at the depth the earthquake occurred at and then the height represents the magnitude. Um, so here I am just showing you that scale um, and with lines marked at 70, 300, and 750 kilometers um, since those are the breakpoints for shallow focused, mid focused, and deep focused earthquakes. So just getting this other view to help give you an overview from the top as we look at the main view from the side. And now we're going to filter out all the shallow focused earthquakes. And you will notice that almost unanimously they occur um, around the Pacific Rim, uh, especially on that western coast. Um, so now getting rid of the mid focus and only leaving the deep focus. And you will notice that almost exclusively now is on that west coast of the Pacific. Um, and now I'm just going to look at the shallow focused and this represents the majority of the earthquakes and they occur pretty much all over. Let's get rid of that scale and bring back all of the earthquakes again. And uh, start taking a look at uh, the years. Um, as you notice, this represents all the earthquakes from 1973 until 2010. Um, but let's just take a look at about a 10 year range between 95 and 2005. And as you, ex as you would expect, um, there still are earthquakes being shown everywhere, just fewer of them since it's only about a 10 year range instead of about a 35 year range. Um, and here at the bottom we have a little video player and the time step you can change. Um, here we're looking at about one month at a time and if you want to change your view of the map as you're looking at it, it'll pause for you until you settle on a final location. Um, but the other maps still do not animate um, to give you an overview of that entire time period so you can watch your animation in context. Um, and then here is that same thing, but showing a year at a time. And finally, uh, we have the color scale um, for the earthquake magnitudes. Um, just a few options here, the red one, the green one, and then here is a heat map, and it also is represented in that legend on the bottom. And that is all. Thank you very much.